Welcome back to Talk To Me with the coach, Mike Reed Maiden, as we're on the road today. And we got Chicago Cubs, and we're going to let our special guest introduce himself to our TV audience. Hey, how you doing, coach? My name is Chris Coughlin, and I'm excited to be here with the Cubs. And where are you from? Uh, I was originally born in Maryland, but I live in Birmingham, Alabama now. Alabama, can I call your country boy then? Ah, oh, I did. I hurt my feelings. <laughs> Well, we take our youngsters behind the scenes of what it's like to be a major league player. So, man, what, what's this role like for you being in the big leagues? Ah, it's a grind, man. Um, you know, when you're up here, uh, I don't think it ever stops. You know, you're always hungry, trying to improve, uh, trying to just refine your game. Um, but one thing I would just encourage young guys, and what I was always encouraged, is just, you know, work hard. Mm -hmm. I think the goal for myself and any young kid should just be to try to reach capacity for whatever gifts God's blessed. Mm -hmm. and, you know, a lot of kids watch this game and they think that you get drafted, you're in a big league small. They don't know the dues that a big league ball player has to pay to get there. Yeah, I mean, it's like anything in, in life and in business, man. You got you to work your way up and put your dues in. Um, you know, you, you go to the minor leagues and you stay at a lot of places that aren't as nice as this. And don't no four-star nice. hotels. Yeah, I mean, it's it's it is a grind. You know, you 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 don't even like to really. It's not a complaint, but it's just one of those things that's a reality. Um, that it takes a lot of hard work and um, you know a lot of uh, a lot of openings too. It's a lot about opportunities too. So um, you know, it's, it's been a long road, but it's been worth it. Yeah, and I think people realize the wear and tear on the major league body. You guys play a 160 game schedule, flying in and out of cities. You finish the game at get out of ballpark 10, 11 o'clock, fly in another city, get in three or four o'clock in the morning, still got to play that evening. They don't realize how tough that is. Yeah, it is. You know, um, but I got to tell you, you know, I wouldn't choose any other profession. <laughs> really, I mean, I don't even like, like I said, it, complaining or anything. It's um, you know when you, you're in the minor leagues, I think it's even tougher. Yeah. You know. Uh, here, there's a lot of things that cater to your needs, so it's a blessing to be up here and, and uh, something that you try not to take for granted. How much pride going to wind that coach? A uh, ton. You know, I told my wife, this is, uh, I think, my sixth season in the big leagues, and I think, like, I don't know how many years of service it is, but uh, it feels like I'm a rookie all over again. It does. It's uh, it's pretty cool and surreal feeling just because of the respect that I have for the tradition and the history of um, the Cubs and knowing people that are played before me and, mm -hmm. and just carrying that. So it's it's pretty cool. And, you know, I don't think, well, I think you may realize not wanting a uniform. Win, lose, or draw, the Cubs is really America's team. People come here from all over the world to see the Cubs and Ricky Field and follow you guys on the road. Yeah, it is. It's it is, it's crazy. I, you know, I came being from Miami, um, you know, it's just different culture. Mm -hmm. And this is really cool um, to see and refreshing to just see the passion that the fans have and that people come out. Uh, you know, the other night I had, there was a guy out there I saw had no shirt on. It might have been 35 degrees and they were still there at the game. I'm like, man, this is crazy. This is awesome. So it, it's a blessing to have fans that support you no matter what. Okay, let me hit you with these last two questions. I know you got to get ready for the nice ball game. This weather in Chicago, what you think about it? Oof, man. man <laughs> this is my first taste. I tell you, I realize how blessed in Miami, you know, you have a roof and it's hot. You won't catch me complain about the heat. You know, come, you know, anytime it's hot, I will not complain. And this last question, let me take you back to when you got that call, walked in the locker room for the very first time and saw you uniform. What was that feeling like? Oh, it was great. Um, you know, it's cool. Being, you know, I've been on the other side. And, I, I mean, seeing the locker room and stuff, I know that people, some people say some stuff because it's an older place, but I was like, man, this is unbelievable. You know, the visitor side's a lot smaller than the home side. So, <laughs> yes, it is. You know, the, I, I have no complaints about where it is on the, on the home side. I think it's awesome. Coach said you youngsters behind the scenes with the man for the Cubs. All right, All right thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks a lot. No problem.